There we are. See? There we are. Okay. Whoops. I just knocked over the paints. That's okay. All right. We're live on Facebook, and we're here with some of our winter break kiddos. And it is almost 11, but we're gonna go a little early today and talk about some of the fun things that people can do at home if they're not here, okay? And what do we have in our bucket? Ice. Ice. So we said yesterday that we were gonna do some of the stuff for the little kids. Say hi. And <laughs> hi. Say hi. hi. So this one is geared towards maybe a little bit younger set. We're in our preschool classroom and we're here on the sensory map and we're gonna do some ice art. So I'm gonna set this down so I've got two hands free and we'll talk about what I've got here and my helpers who are gonna help me show this, right? So I've got an under the bed storage box filled with ice cubes, which are really cold. You wanna feel them? Yeah, they're really cold. And my under the bed storage box is actually lit by another under the bed storage box down here that has under the counter lighting stuck in it. Um, which is a really, let me show it to you again. This is a really easy way to make a light table at home. So it's just two boxes. One has lights underneath it. You can do it with Christmas lights. You can do it with any type of lights. If you don't have that, you can do this without the lights. I just think it's kind of fun. Another option is to use like a little spotlight and just shine it into the side of the tub, which lights up the, the ice as well. And I like the clear tubs because we can see all the art that's gonna happen in here. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna color and paint our ice. So we're gonna make it into a nice even layer. You wanna help me with that? Yeah. Can I spread it out? See if you can spread it out for me. And then I'm gonna put something here. Good job. So this is a muffin tin. Should we show it to the camera? Yeah. This is a muffin tin. Woo! Inside the muffin tin is food coloring and water. Stuff you have at home. Now sometimes here in the studio, usually we use liquid water colors instead of food coloring because we have more of it. But I used food coloring today because that's what people will have at home. So we'll set that right there. How's that? Is that good? And then I've got salt. So everybody should have salt at home. You know, salt is something really fun to ice. It's going to make it crackle. And it's going to burrow little holes in it when we sprinkle salt on top. So I'm going to give each one of you guys a little container of salt. Want some? Don't eat it. No. You don't want to eat that. I'm going to give you some salt. You want some? Okay. And you're going to use your little pincher fingers. Here you go. And you can sprinkle some of it on top of our ice. You're being really patient. And what will happen is that will start a little bit of a melting on top of our... Ready? Sprinkle. And it kind of makes... Yeah. What the, the salt does to the ice is it's actually going to burrow little holes in, which is where our paint is going to go down into as well. So sprinkle it all in there. Woo! We can make ice cream too. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, and then the only other tool you're going to need is a squeezer dropper. Okay. Yeah, you're going to sit right in front of the camera? That's cool. I'll move it. No worries. Whoops! <laughs> Here, I'm going to move everybody so they can still see what's going on. See? You need a squeezer dropper? So if you don't have these little pipettes at home, one of the things you can use is actually a medicine dropper. And you can set the excess down if you want. You don't have to use it all. So if you have one of those little medicine droppers with the plungers, you can use that at home as well. Ooh, look at your ice. Look how pretty that is. You want to paint some ice? Whoops. This is hard to do. Trying to hold the camera for you guys. There we go. Oh, that blue looks so cool. Let's come up a little closer. What happens if you put a different color on top of that blue, I wonder? I'm gonna move my camera bucket. Hang tight. Don't get dizzy. Your camera's going everywhere. There we go. Now we can see everybody working. You made green? You did! I'm gonna do some too. How's that? So these droppers here, this works that pincher graph, the tripod that we're looking for for a preschool age. And I bought, I bought my ice this morning, so it's just cubed ice. But you can also, like if you take a, a, a Gladware container or a Tupperware container and freeze a giant block of ice, what you need? You want me to put this one over by you? Yeah? 
Put this one right over here by you. Come over here. Come over here. So you freeze a giant block of ice. You can do the exact same thing. If you do that, make sure you put it on a tray or at least a towel because otherwise um, the water and the colors goes everywhere. I'm going to pick up the camera and show everybody our beautiful artwork here. Should I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, it looks like a rainbow. Isn't that cool? I'm going to hold it up really high. Bird's eye view. Bird's eye view of what's going on here today. Isn't that cool? And we had fun before we even got the paint out, didn't we? Just playing with the ice. You going to squeeze it? Squeeze. I'm going to get green. You're going to get the that, green. Oh, that's the yeah, blue. That that's one. green. Is that green? Both. <gasps> you got it. All right, we will sign off for today. You guys have fun.